First off, I just want to say thank you all so much for getting me to a thousand subscribers. I really appreciate you. I figured since I just hit a thousand subscribers that it would be cool to boost it even more by making a sorceress video. So on this video, I just want to talk about why I think Lightning Sorceress is the most powerful character in the game, period. Not only is it more affordable than like getting a really powerful Amazon or a really powerful other type of elemental character like a dual dream paladin or something like that you don't need enigma so that automatically puts it in a certain place where you can really do well but if you have infinity on a lightning sorceress I think that it's barred on the strongest character in the game this is kind of a hybrid build that I have going right now my lightning is pretty strong but I actually wanted to have really strong chain lightning because I think it's like convenient. It shoots the same way that lightning does, but it goes between the enemies, kind of like auto targeting in a sense. So I thought that it was cool to max that out for just like when I'm going through the levels. And that also required maxing out Nova for the synergy. I didn't put max static field, but the one point gave me enough to where my Nova as well is also pretty strong so like on weaker packs i can just tele stomp and nova which is really good and then on the bosses we just hit them with static field until it doesn't work anymore and then use lightning and they go down pretty quickly so here's the whole skill tree and everything like that here goes the gear we got crescent moon and a style points weapon i just like the way this looks on this then we got mage fist just a random ring with strength on it because we needed strength. Arachnid Smash, FCR Ring, War Travs, Spirit, 217 Sorceress Amulet. I'm still trying to get a 220, but this is good for now. There, there are a couple builds where I'm just like three away from hitting the breakpoint to be able to do it. So I do need a 220 Amulet eventually. We got Chains of Honor and then a poorly rolled Griffins, but it's still a Griffin, so I'm not tripping. Then we got CTA and Spirit on swap. We only actually have two Lightning Skillers. And then just an assortment of Small Charms, Torch and Annie. And then we got a little bit of space in the, in the stash in case we're in a public game and there's a rune that drops. Grab it real quick off the ground without having to open the cube. So there's that. Mercenaries got Infinity, Fortitude, and then Andes. With the uh, Andes, I think he's got a max damage fire res jewel. If you enjoy the video, do me a favor and hit the like button. These are the kind of monsters that I can really just get away with using Nova. But then what's the uh, Chain Lightning works really well in packs as well. Like if you want to stay safer and be at a distance, the chain lightning does really good for that. Biggest downside to the lightning sorceress like this with having infinity is your mana does drain pretty easily. So technically I could put on something like silk weaves and get that mana per kill and then basically never have problems with mana. But aside from that, I don't really mind hitting potions. Some people, some people can't stand it. Depending on the pace that you play this character at, you might not even really need potions. Just It just all depends. So like these these packs, better to just hit them with, uh, with Nova most of the time. Another way that I could actually have like never, never have any issues with mana is I could put a, uh, a Phoenix shield on swap just, just to... Uh, redeem the corpses once once I take them out that could be another really good way to handle this character let's just go straight on to the see like these I wouldn't want to Nova those 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 are more so chain lightning or regular lightning for even stronger but I like to keep my distance from certain enemies Ideally, I would have a lot more skiller charms But at the same time, they're not really necessary for players one 
but the one thing that I like with like if I had max inventory of skillers I don't really care to go energy shield build just simply because it's not going to be as strong if I dedicated more of the different gear towards having more power as opposed to safety. That's one thing I feel like on this game there's always kind of like a, a bit of balancing and I'm also not a fan of, of doing a whole bunch of pre-buffing and stuff like having to like I'm, I'm starting to like the druid but I'm starting more and more to try to make him even in a way where I don't have to do all my summons constantly because it's kind of like a little bit of a pain to go from game to game and have to resummon everything every single time that's kind of like why I like iron golem on the necromancer like just the insight golem don't have to worry about summoning a golem every match but they can be really useful like the clay golem with his slowest target they all got their benefits and their downsides See, like these aren't, those aren't Nova, Nova worthy enemies. Those are, those ones deserve either chain lightning or regular lightning. Either. Not the fastest bail kill right there, but. If he didn't teleport, I would have gotten him a lot faster, but I mean... Might... I can really... A lot of the stuff I can really just stomp and do Nova on. Maxing Nova is not a bad idea by any means. Sorry. Right. So, I mean, even, even like these on Players 1, this Nova, as strong as it is, if you had a maxed out Nova, which I've done before as well, which can be more convenient. I just don't want to just... At this point, you're basically a hammered in. You're just tele stomping, casting until they're all dead, and then moving on to the next. Which is cool if you like that. It's a little bit boring, in my opinion. I like the variety. I wanted to try out Chain Lightning. To be honest, like, I've... Of course, used it and everything, but I wanted to try maxed out chain lightning and how it was and I'm pretty satisfied with it it's doesn't seem as strong as the chain lightning that's coming off of the uh, even though it's like higher damage the uh, lightning strike spear Amazon or Javazon either one Amazon that's holding infinity definitely feels a lot a lot stronger so I wanted to see how this compared. A lot of times the Sace is going to be lightning immune, but then again, once I have a Sundering Charm on this character, that's not going to be a problem at all. But, um, see, like these right here, for instance, they have Midara, so maybe it's not the best idea for me to Tele Stomp and Nova, but these, they don't, so maybe I can act a fool. So, I mean, this would be a good place to really have that Phoenix on swap. And, I mean, this is, this is only 2k. You can get your Nova probably up to 4k, even while still having Crescent Moon. And then just, it'll even, it'll take out the cows even more, even faster. As you can see, the chain lightning does more damage to them. It just depends on how close they're standing. And Nova, I think, can be better for the sake of, like, just constantly moving. And definitely, I think, a stronger Nova is going to be more, more beneficial for cows. Because this takes a little bit more effort to aim. Nova, you just telly stomp and spam. Which might get old, but, I mean, anything... Anything's gonna get old if you do it enough, so it's all kind of subjective. Do me a huge favor if you've enjoyed the video, hit that like button and consider subscribing to see more in the future. I'll catch y'all later and everybody have a great day.